before we go ahead and take a look at the setup process and before we take a look at all of the features, what I like about the BE550 is it is a Wi-Fi 7 router. If you're looking to upgrade your equipment, don't buy something that's not going to be somewhat future-proof later on. You are going to get some Wi-Fi 7 devices coming next year and chances are once you get them, you're going to want to be able to use that Wi-Fi 7 standard. So the BE550 is backwards compatible and also gives you somewhat of a future-proofing. Now there's a lot of features that are built into this little router here and, and a couple that I like before we go over the setup process is we do have a VPN client and server. So that's kind of important if you want to connect to your home network when you're out and about. If you travel a lot and you want to get that US IP address, this is a great way to do it. And you don't have to pay any fees. You can set up your own VPN server right from the, right from the application itself. And I also like the fact that we get a separate IoT network. That's just really important. But let's go over some of the other features. Let's take a look at the box that TP-Link want us to know that are some of the most important features according to them. So we do get fast blazing speeds with this tri-band Wi-Fi router, ultra smooth Wi-Fi. And I gotta tell you, my devices are connecting really nicely because we do get these six antennas inside. They're internal antennas and they do a great job at beam forming and they do a great job of just making sure that all of your devices get a strong stable connection. And that's that broader 360 degree Wi-Fi. You also get five multi-gig ports. You get a 2.4 gig WAN port and four 2.5 gig LAN ports. Again, it's a nice way to kind of future proof if you get any, any kind of NAS drives or anything like that that's gonna take full advantage of that 2.5 gig port. So again, here's your multi-link operation for Wi-Fi 7, six gigahertz, five gigahertz, and that 2.4 gigahertz. Enhanced security with their home shield. And you can subscribe if you want a little bit more protection from TP-Link. Easy mesh compatible to eliminate those dead zones. There's that VPN client that I talked about. Now that we've got all that spec sheet out of the way, this is the router guys. And I think it's a nice footprint. It's a small footprint, but it's, it's pretty powerful for its size. Again, this is for a small to medium sized apartment or home. You get a nice, a nice looking, nice looking device that you don't have to be ashamed about. You don't have to put this away in some kind of cupboard. It is a nicely designed Wi-Fi router in my opinion, kind of sleek and modern. But taking a look at the back, here's your 2.5 gig LAN ports and your 2.5 gig WAN port is right there. USB 3.0, so if you wanted to connect the NAS drive or you wanted to use this as a, as a time machine backup, you could go ahead and do that. And in terms of any other ports, that's basically it on the back. But let's go ahead and turn it on. I'm gonna show you this really cool light strip that's in the middle here. And we're gonna do some tests and we're gonna check out the app and all of that good stuff. So let's go ahead, turn it on and see what it's all about. Opening up the Tether application, this is where you're going to see an overview, a snapshot, if you will, of your entire network and what's going on with your home network. This right here is one of the best in the business. It's very easy to navigate and it's very easy to see what you want to see just by opening up the application. So for example, you can see my router is working well and I also do have an easy mesh extender connected, the RE600X. And if you click on it, you can see all your connected devices. So I have seven devices connected via my my extended network, the RE600X extender. You can see your signal strength as well. So at the moment, it is a strong signal. Going back to the home page, this is a snapshot of your entire home network and your internet status. So you can see your internet status right here. You can see the current download and upload speeds of all your devices connected on your home network. And as a nerd, I actually like seeing all of these stats. It's just a nice overview of what's going on with your network. And you can also see all of your clients that are connected. Now, the great thing about this router from TP-Link is you have quite a bit of separate networks. So you have your main network and you can see all of your connected devices. If you click on one in specific, you'll see the current download and upload speed as well. And you can also see the entire traffic usage for this device, whether it's by day or whether it's by week, you can quickly go in and see how much traffic this particular device has been using. It's a nice nerd stat for those of you that just like to see what's going on with each of your devices connected. So right now my Pixel device has downloaded 2.1 gigs, uploaded 1.2 for today. You can also set a speed limit if you wanted to limit the speeds of a particular device. Again, this comes in handy if you have some, some devices that you don't want to really take up all that much of your bandwidth. Perfect for those of you on a, on a lower connection, on a slower connection. And I like the fact that just by clicking on your connected device, you can quickly go in and set a speed limit. You can also quickly add it to a family member's profile if you have a profile set up, such as a kid's profile. And if you want to set this device as high priority, this is a QoS feature, so it's the quality of surface feature. For those of you that want to give higher priority, say to your streaming devices or even to your gaming devices on your network, 
This will ensure that those specific devices always have the bandwidth that they need. Again, perfect for you gamers out there, perfect for multimedia watching. If you want to ensure that you get 4K all the time, setting high priority is the way to do it. Now, one of the features that I really like about this TP-Link router is the device isolation feature. And this is going to basically block devices from communicating with other devices on your home network. And I'll get into the IoT function in just a little bit, but this is a nice way to keep main devices on your, on your main SSID from connecting with other devices. So for example, my, my smart TV is connected to my main network, and I've also enabled device isolation because smart TVs are notorious for sending information back to the home base. They're notorious for scanning your home network and letting the companies know what's connected on your home network. And I'm just not really about that spy life. So I like the device isolation aspect of it. But if we go back to all of your clients once again, so you can see I have 27 main clients connected, and you can see all of the devices connected. And you also do have a guest network. So the guest network is going to separate these devices from contacting any other devices on your main network. Perfect for sharing your connection with people that come over to visit with family members. And you just don't want them getting access to say your NAS drives, or you don't want them getting access to your computers. Having a guest network is the way to ensure that they're only able to connect with other guest devices. Perfect for isolation, once again, perfect for keeping your computers off the peering eyes of someone that comes to visit. So I like a guest network, and there is a 2.4 and a 5 gigahertz guest network. I'll show you that in one second as well. But what really sets apart the TP-Link router is the IoT network functionality, your IoT connections right here. Now going back to the home screen once again, you can see information at a glance. Another awesome feature that I like, again, being a nerd, is the traffic usage. So you can see all of your usage. You can see which device has used the most data. So today, so far, I've used 17.7 .7 gigabytes, and I've uploaded 6.7 gigabytes, with the main culprit being my Pixel 8 Pro here. So you can see all of your connected devices and how much data they've actually transmitted and received. So here's just a quick list of all of my devices and what they've transmitted, what they've received. So again, I like that feature. You can also go back and search by the week. So last week, for the past four days that I had this connected, I've almost used about 200 gigabytes downloaded and 40 gigabytes uploaded. Again, you can see the ranking for all of your connected devices. My home servers use the, the most at 90.7 gigabytes downloaded and 24 gigabytes uploaded. Thank you very much, Plex. You're doing your job. But again, I like, I like this feature. It's just a nerd stat, so I think that's pretty cool. Here's your guest network. And you do have a 2.4 gigahertz, a 5 gigahertz, and a 6 gigahertz network available. Under security, this is where you can up upgrade to their services if you want TP-Link to constantly monitor, monitor and give you recommendations on how to keep your network secure. You can get a free scan though, so it'll let you know if it found any type of, any type of vulnerabilities in your network. So right now it's saying I should disable my guest network when it's not available. So again, for those of you that want a little bit extra protection, you can go ahead and sign up for their Security Plus features. Now under Family, this is where you can set some, some family controls. You can really just limit what your, what your kids can see. So let's just go ahead and, and click on a, a make-believe type of kid. And let's do 14 years of age, and I'm just going to call this Kids. Go back, click on Next, and you can select the device that your kids are using to access the internet. So let's click on Android here. Clicking on Add, you can, you can ensure that they're not able to see certain information on the web. You can also individually block websites. If you know a specific website that your, your child is contacting and looking at every day, you can go ahead and add that to the blocked list. There's also a bedtime feature, so you can ensure that your kids are not staying up past their bedtime and, and trolling the web and surfing the web and doing all of that stuff. For more advanced controls, you do have to upgrade to their advanced parental controls. But the basic features will be enough for most people to set that time when your children are not able to watch the web, filter the adult content, and filter everything else like that. So it's a nice feature, and you can see how much time they've spent online. Again, the basic features are pretty much enough for most people. There also is quality of service, so you can set your download and upload speeds, and this is going to ensure that, once again, your gaming systems are going to have the most amount of bandwidth when you're gaming. Your smart TVs are going to give you the most amount of bandwidth when you're watching 4K. So setting up quality of service for those of you, especially on a slower connection, is something I would recommend. 
Easy Mesh is a great way to add a mesh network. So if you need to add a couple extra satellites, if you need to add a couple extra extenders, this is where you're gonna do it. And it's basically a one-click type of function. Very easy to add it to your main router there. And I really like the fact that we get a 2.4 as well as a five gigahertz IoT network. Some of the newer IoT devices are including five gigahertz bands. So this is gonna ensure that you're all set for the future. Again, trying to future-proof yourself as much as possible is the name of the game. So two, two bands, 2.4 and five gigahertz is the way to do it. The next option that I wanna to talk to you about is network optimization. And if you're in a congested area like I am, if you have a whole bunch of SSIDs broadcasting, just clicking scan is a great way to ensure that you're using the fastest band possible. It's gonna try and cut through the congestion and give you the fastest connection possible. And I've been really happy with these speeds on the BE550, really, really fast speeds, definitely a very fast router. Network diagnostics, just gonna let you know if you're online or not and give you a little bit of little bit of hints how to get yourself back online if you find yourself off. The next thing that I wanna talk about really quickly is the inclusion of your VPN server and VPN client. And thank you, thank you, thank you, TP-Link for including WireGuard. This is the newest standard. It's the faster standard, uses less resources, and it's something that you're gonna be really happy with. So you can create your own VPN server and connect to your home network anytime that you're out and about. And you can either just share your home network, share your LAN, or you can give it access to your internet as well as that home network. Perfect for those of you that travel overseas and want that US IP. This is going to allow you to connect to your home network, check all of your devices, and give you that local IP that you might need to continue streaming or listening to music as if you were still in the US when you're abroad. For those of you that subscribe to a consumer VPN service, you can add your credentials here, and then you can select the devices that are going to use your VPN service. Perfect for your streaming devices, perfect for, well, you guys know what you use a VPN for. Again, you do have the WireGuard option. It's very easy to add to the TP-Link router here. So I just like the inclusion of, of all of these advanced features. Definitely a huge thumbs up to TP-Link for including the server and the VPN client. And that's basically it when it comes to the Archer BE550. This is an awesome router. Speeds are super, super fast, and I'm very happy with it. I'm very thrilled with it. In terms of range, this is great for a small to medium-sized apartment or house. It is an all-in-one type of system, so you don't have any external antennas, but you do get six multi-beaming antennas here, and they do a really nice job, again, of giving you the fastest speed, and they're able to really pinpoint where your device is. But for larger homes, once again, you are going to want to use that easy mesh feature and add an extender. But in terms of range and speed, I'm happy with both the range and speed, even at farther distances, I still was getting some really good speed. So I'm super happy with it once again.